Hey guys and welcome back to Ninjago News TV. This video is kind of like but not exactly follow up to the video I did a couple days ago which was Ninjago characters that should be minifigures. It's not fully a follow up since there will actually be its own, it will have its own part 2 to that video. But today I'm doing Ninjago locations and other things that should be set. And this video will be a lot like the one I did before. It will also be split into two parts. And yeah, so that's really all I have to say. By other things, I mean s stuff such as like dragons and other kinds of places and stuff like that. But most of it is just locations. And other things also includes vehicles. So without further ado, let's get started. The first one we have here is actually a vehicle, the Serpentine Train from episode 12. This building is, this build especially, just the design is super cool. Now, I understand that it might be very long to provide in a set, but they could make a variation of it where it could have only two cars or something such as that. I don't know, I just feel like it's such a unique vehicle. It's a lot better than some of the other Serpentine vehicles that were actually made during that wave. It could totally fit. Minifigures that would be provided could be two of the ninja. I would suggest maybe Cole and Kai, Master Wu, and Pythor, of course. And I think maybe another Serpentine, let's, ha let's say Spitta. And anyways, I think this would make for a really nice set. The next one I have is the Lost City of Ouroboros. There are two different possibilities I see for this, and I will explain both of them in depth. First one is the Lost City of Ouroboros that we see in Season 1. The way I see it is that it could be some kind of Slither Pit style set, in which it is actually like a battle arena in some sort of sense, a Serpentine battle arena. It could come with some Serpentine spinners, and yeah, I think that would be a cool set. As for the minifigures, that depends really, you don't know just any Serpentine other than the Generals really. Second possibility is the Lost City of Ouroboros from Season 3, which was the Nindroid base, one of their bases. I'm not sure if this would work out as well, and how this would work also. Like, I guess it could just be a base, kind of. But honestly, I would support the first one a lot more than the second one. Because the second one just doesn't seem as solid. And it, there isn't more of a way that it could be a set, really. The next one is the Nindroid spaceship that they used in Season 3 to get to Delta V, the comet that the Golden Weapons were on, of course. So, once again, I see two possible variations for this. First one is the actual spaceship itself. It could come with Cryptor, a Nindroid, and a couple ninja. Let's suggest Zane, Lloyd, and Jay, maybe. And then, I think that would be actually pretty cool. Definitely something very different for Ninjago. I can see why they didn't make this as this would definitely reveal major spoilers about the season. But I think it would just be a different twist in Ninjago, and it would be cool. Second possibility is those Doom buggies that they did actually use. Once again, they could include Cryptor, the, of course, Nindroid drones, and some ninja. And another thing to note about the ninja is it would be especially cool if they were in their spacesuits. That could be some sort of exclusive gi. Overlord Dragon would actually be amazing. Once again, I could see why they didn't release this as it would be kind of hard to explain what it was. like. And then, once again, it would reveal major spoilers. It would introduce a character that hadn't been introduced in the show yet. But nevertheless, I feel that it should have still been made a set in some shape or form. Overlord Dragon would be super cool. You have this amazing design, and it's totally different from any other dragon, and that's what makes it super unique. It would come, of course, with the Golden Lloyd minifigure, and I think this would especially be cool if you faced off the Overlord Dragon and the Golden Dragon. That would make some sort of definitely very cool like final battle scene. You'd be able to actually do that, and I think this should totally be a set for like the season 2 wave. Next one I have is Pythor's lab from season 3 where he was holding the Electro Cobra and keeping the Overlord safe actually. This would be super cool because the design of that lab is actually very interesting. It's been made into an MOC already by a YouTuber I don't have the name off of the top of my head right now but it's super cool and it could definitely include some sort of area where Pythor was harvesting the Electro Cobra of course and it would definitely include that a stranger form of Pythor, which has never been made into a minifigure, and some digital overlord type of form. Next one is the Oni Temple. When we look at this in the show, it doesn't even have a real design. But LEGO designers have definitely exaggerated stuff in Ninjago before. They've definitely made the sets very different from the TV show form. 
In addition, we also don't see the design of the Oni Temple, so who's to say that it's not actually there? This wouldn't be especially cool because it could include some kind of face-off between Lloyd and Harumi in episode 81. It would include the stairs that they climbed up, some sort of the Oni drawings would be incorporated, and of course that room with the Oni Temple. I can see why they didn't do this as it would release major spoilers, and it would also be kind of repetitive since you do have the Temple of Resurrection, both temples, but it would include Season 8 Lloyd and Casual Harumi. New Jinjago would be super cool to see as a set. I could kind of see how they would do this. You'd have like three or four different quadrants that would kind of make up the actual set. I mean, Ninjago has definitely done that before with sets like the SOG headquarters, which definitely are like four different, four or five different quadrants that are just connected. This could totally be the case for this. Each quadrant has its own little piece of it. One of them could have some of those forests. Another one could have like a small little temple on it. And it would be actually pretty cool. I suggest that it would include a Nauticon figure, a Pirate J, Pirate, of course, Pirate Patch, J, and a couple Sky Pirates. Maybe some of just the general ones like Siren, maybe Squiffy and Bucko. This one would be harder to do, but I think there should totally be some sort of preeminent set. Of course, they could make it a lot smaller. I mean, they did that with the Great Devourer. Its set variant was so much smaller than the show variant, and I think they could do this with the preeminent too. They don't have to necessarily include it in its mech form, they could just include it in its normal form too, but either way, it would be pretty cool to see actually. Alternatively, you could have a Cursed Realm scene with Lloyd and Garmadon, but I'm not sure if that would work out as well, it wouldn't be as strong of a set really, but I definitely support the preeminent like this. It could definitely be a very big set, and it could include all four of the original ninja, that, of course, being Jay, Zane, Cole, and Kai, and maybe even Nia. But I wouldn't include, I would hold off on including a Deep Stone Lloyd in this. This one is Darkly's boarding school for bad boys. And I actually really support this being a set. The build is just beautiful for this, and it could totally be a sort of Temple of Air Jitsu style set. Of course, it would have come out in the season one wave, maybe season two. And anyways, this is actually used a lot in the show, so there's several different ways and different minifigures that you can include for this. First one would be Pythorn and Child Lloyd, Evil Child Lloyd, which would definitely be from Season 1, Episode 4, and you could have a couple of the ninja facing off against him. Second option would be from Episode 16, with good ninja, good green ninja, but still a Child Lloyd facing off against his old friends. And third would be Master Wu's Academy, which was when he transformed the school with Sensei Wu and some other students. Though I honestly support the first one the most. Last one I want to mention for this video is Garmadon's mech from episode 24. This mech really only lasted one episode, but I'm still really surprised that they never turned it into a set. It wasn't spoilery at all, and it would have been amazing. The forearm design was especially unique at that time, though later it was used in, I believe, Gultar's mech. But at this time in Season 2, it was totally unique, and there was no real reason why they couldn't have included it. The design is just super cool, and it would have included a Garmadon variant without his helmet and with his actual hairpiece, which would have been very interesting to see. I think they, just also to make it have more minifigures, they would have threw in a Kimono Lloyd minifigure, which was, of course, exclusive to the character Encyclopedia, but I think he totally could have been thrown into a Garmadon mech set if they had one. That'll wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. Part 2 to both this video and the minifigure one will be coming sometime within the next week. We'll see. As for tomorrow's video, I'm not sure on that. If there's no Season 9 news, then it probably will be Part 2 to the minifigure video. But we will see. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.